Hi, my name is Cesar Garcia, and I want to talk to you about a couple things today. About some of the things that are bothering this world, about some of the things that happen in this world, things that we may not understand, the things that we wish we could have and never have. And a lot of the things that we do now, the society that we're in, the generation that we're in, you know, everyone says that they hate it. Even I, I can't even lie, I said it too. But the true thing of the generation is, you control the generation. We all control the generation. We are the generation. We are the society. And no one complaining about it and saying things about it isn't going to do anything. The only thing that's going to change it is if you do something about it, is if we all do something about it. Because just sitting there, complaining about 101 things in your life isn't going to fix them at all. The things that you have to do, you actually have to try. And you have to readjust yourself and you have to put yourself in different positions, better positions. You can't be in the same position that you're in and expect things to get better if they're already bad. So you have to, you have, to have the capability to remove yourself from that spot. You have to have the capability to control yourself better. You have that capability to be a different, not be a different person, but be you. Don't change for what the world wants. Don't put on, don't, just don't put on a mask for the world. Because if you try to be people that you're not, or if you're somewhere else, then you're really just like everyone else. And, you know, you really don't make a change at all. You're just blending in with the society and what the society wants and what this generation wants. And as much as you say you hate it, why are you continuing to be it? And everyone can say their own opinions and they can say all these things, but the real truth of the reality is we are the generation, we are the society, and we made it the way it, the way it is now. We're the only ones that can change it back to the way it was. Not the generation before, the society before, anything like that, we have to do that ourselves and just moping around and complaining about our problems to 101 people looking for help isn't going to do anything because in reality the only person that can help you as much as anyone else can is you. People can lead you on the path to go do that and people can put you on the road to go do that and they can help you out and they can point you in the direction that you need to go but no one's going to fix you like you are. And another thing, like suicide, teen suicide, I for one have been in that spot a lot of times and I for one have been to hospitals for that stuff. And that's something, you know, that is really not to joke about. And you know, even that you see, even people that do it for attention, there's always that little bit inside where they do want to cry and they do actually mean what they're saying. Because they're broken to the point where they're really willing to do that to themselves. Where they're really willing to do that for attention. Those are the most broken people. The ones that are willing to do that and put themselves in a horrible position for attention. And that's, you know, that's sad. And that's something that, you know, a lot of people don't really like. And people, you know, mark, mock, mock you for it. And they make fun of you. And, you know, things just revolve. They just, they're a circle. It's continue to happen and continue to happen until you change. Not change, because the people that we are, mostly, mostly everyone on this earth, you're not yourself. You're a totally different person. And you have to be you. You don't stoop down or raise up to other people's opinions of you. You don't listen to people when they make fun of you, you know. You change for you. You don't change for other people. Because if you change for other people, you're never going to win. The person that you're changing for is always going to win. And, and sometimes you think that you want that, but you know, you don't. And it's, it sucks because you're not happy yourself and you're making everyone else happy and you're worrying about what everyone else thinks. And that's just, you know, something that's bad. It's bad. Because in the end, when you're not yourself, when you're gonna have, you're gonna have so much people around you that think the person that you are is you. Until that one day, you snap and you can be yourself and you change around everyone, and everyone's just gonna look at you like, what the hell happened? And you're just gonna say, this is me, you know? Then you're gonna, people are gonna say you change. You didn't change, you're becoming yourself. And that's, you know, sometimes we break out of our shell a little too late, or a little too old, you know? 
and when we don't really have those surrounding people to build us and stuff like that. So really, most of us grow up or stay around the wrong people that you know don't help us at all. We stay around people that do two bad things that you know like drugs or steal or things like that, and that's not good. So I don't want to take too much of your time. And whoever watched it for this long, I salute you, because I personally probably would have skipped and had them parts and bits and listened to it. But I want to thank you, and I want to let you know that I'm going to make more videos like this. And I want you all to know to have a nice day, be you, be yourself, and stay true to you.